Hi, I'm Rena Pelche, and thanks for tuning in to Community Producers on Shaw TV Red Deer. This show's all about you, members of the community, where you're able to share your videos. What you'll see here are videos produced by volunteers just like me. Now, our first story comes from the United Way in Central Alberta. It's all about a valuable service they provide called Meals on Wheels. Plasia. My legs are shorter and my uh, arms are shorter than usual, but the torso is about regular size type of thing. I was with the city for uh, 47 years. My first accounting designation was registered industrial accountant. It was changed to uh, certified management accountant, and now it's changed again to CPA, which is chartered professional accountant. And I have other designations in management and auditing. I've, <laughs> I've been retired, believe it or not, for about 20 years. I have so enjoyed the ministry of uh, Meals on Wheels. I've been a subscriber now for 20, 28 years. And Meals on Wheels are so much a part of my life, I can't imagine any other way of having my lunch. I think the constancy of service is something that I'm just so, so amazed at. There's been so many people in the, in the 28 years, so many changes in my life. I looked after my mother until uh, she passed away. Uh, I lost my wife after 13 years of marriage. You know exactly that you're going to get meals five days a week. When it comes to a holiday and the such life, you're prepared for it. I'm now 85, if you can believe that. It's been, uh, been a very exciting life for me. I so appreciate the uh, folks that deliver the meals. It's an opportunity uh, for me to uh, see what's happening in the outside world, so, so to speak. On to our next story, and it features some local, everyday people who'll be transformed into dancing stars, all for a good cause. Access producer David Dinan did all the work on this one about fundraising celebrity dance-off at the Sheraton Hotel. Karen Gorenson. I'm from Red Deer, but I'm originally from Yorkton, Saskatchewan, and we moved in 1995. I got involved with the Sheraton Celebrity Dance Off when a friend, Terry Lohan, had invited me to participate in raising awareness and funds for the Central Alberta Child Advocacy Centre that we are opening or hoping to open in Red Deer. I agreed to be a dancer with the Sheraton Celebrity Dance Off this year is because the cause is near and dear to my heart. Our family, our community has suffered the ill effects of teen suicides. And if my participation can prevent one family from going through what our family and our friends have had to go through, then I've done a good job. I'm the chair of the coalition to bring the Central Alberta Child Advocacy Centre to Red Deer. Child Advocacy Center is a center uh, made up of uh, four main government identities, RCMP, Child Family Services, 
Alberta Health and the Crown Prosecutors. And then with the charity component, the nonprofit uh, component, uh, which is the Child Advocacy Center, that that facilitates the four agencies to work together. The center is to not uh, not to set the agenda, but to get all the different uh, agencies to work together to make sure that these children are looked after. Alberta Health comes in with the psychologists and the psychiatrists and the doctors and the nurses and pediatrician side. Crown prosecutors, of course, of course to uh, do arrest warrants and work with the RCMP to uh, do the arrests on the people that are doing the the act and then uh, child family services there is obviously for uh, to look after the interests of the ch children and the families that are affected well what happens is in in every day the way we operate now where these different services are throughout the city in different buildings and communication is really tough they can't get a hold of each other in the advocacy center because they're all actually in the actual center working together you get a conviction rate in the norm of 43 percent at child advocacy center it's 87 percent and the, the reason the gap is is because the kids aren't getting interviewed three or four times which obviously the more they get interviewed the more, the more scared they are and their story starts to change so the defense attorneys can pick that apart okay in child advocacy center they have a 92 percent chance the child only gets interviewed once in the real norm there might not be warrants even issued for four or five weeks, six weeks, could be six months. And it's because of the information going back and forth is very hindering. So with the Advocacy Center there, it's a lot more collaborative and integrated. So they're getting results quicker and quicker and quicker. And the child's not being left behind because that's what's happening now. The role of the dance off is number one, to raise awareness to the cause. I think that's just about as important as the second role of uh, raising money to get us off our feet and get going with uh, the initiative of the center. When it comes to, to whether it's sexual f assault, physical assault, or neglect on children, or any other traumatic event in anyone's life, it leads to mental illness. And the whole initiative came from mental illness. And as everyone knows, it's almost an epidemic. And we need to get together as a society and do what's right and put programs in place that actually work and make a difference and the return on our investment, not only for the, you're helping people where they're not gonna have screwed up lives for their, so the whole time they're on this earth, is that uh, people are being punished and people are getting help that need help. And when it comes to mental illness, I think it's, it's getting worse and worse and worse. And we, I think we're obligated to step in and do something. And that's how this began. Uh, my name is Dustin Snyder and tonight we're at the Troubled Monk Brewery. Charlie and the gang at Troubled Monk is auctioning off the growlers. And my understanding is that the highest bidder for the growler of the dancer gets to pick whatever beer they want and fill that up and take that home. Uh, and of course, all the funds go to the, the, the proceeds go to the charities that the Celebrity Dance Off is supporting, which are the Sexual Assault Center and the Child Advocacy Center. So I suppose I am as directly involved as possible. I'm one of the celebrity celebrity dancers uh, and my partner is Natalie Brooks who has been involved since the start. My day job is the general manager for Earl's Restaurant and what makes me the celebrity is is unknown to me. Uh, you know I, I, I do end up running to a into a lot of these people at the restaurant. Everybody's been an amazing supporter of the restaurant. So it's really great. I get to see a lot of friends when I'm involved in these sort of events. So uh, I was originally asked by Terry Lowen to join the event as a dancer. And of course, he's he's been a close friend of Earl's for a long, long time. I, I'm part of this event because the cause has not only been close to Earl's restaurant, uh, the mental health and child advocacy part of it has, has been at the forefront of, of our community involvement for about the past two years through family services and their health, mental health initiatives. And now we get a chance to be at the ground level of the Child Advocacy Center in Red Deer, which is, has taken its model from the Sheldon Kennedy Center, which is unbelievably amazing. So if anybody wants to sponsor me directly, 
there is online pledge forms. It's through the Sheraton Celebrity Dance Off webpage, and there's a race roster profile. You can go to my profile and donate directly to me. Uh, you can also contact uh, some important names, Nadine George or Cassandra Galanzowski. They're the ones handling all the fundraising. Um, if they have any questions, they can absolutely call the, the Central Alberta Sex, uh, Sexual Assault Support Centre. My name is Sherry Rickman and um, I'm here because it's just another great way to give back to our community and help the children and families uh, be more successful in our future. The name of the event is the Sheraton um, Celebrity Dance Off and um, you know, I got to question the celebrity part, but I'm here and I'm very thankful that I was asked to be here. My full-time job is with the Cooperators Insurance Company. I am a district manager for them and I spend lots of time on the road. So I'm responsible for about 35 Cooperators locations in Central Alberta. I have an amazing team that work under me. And within the community, um, I do whatever I can to be involved and uh, mostly in events. So I was uh, the chair of the 2012 Scotties Tournament of Hearts. Uh, most recently, I was on in charge of volunteers, director of volunteers for the Memorial Cup that Red Deer hosted just in 2016. I was also on the bid committee for the 2014 or 19 games, but that was back in 2014. And now I'm a senior leader for revenue generation for the 2019 uh, Canada Winter Games. I have two daughters. They are 17 and 11 and a husband named Rod. And uh, yeah, so they're both involved in sports and I try to do what I can do for them as well. I wanted to become part of the dance off because I do see lots of troubled situations, even in my job or just even in our community. And I think there's really a big stigma about um, talking about some of, whether it be mental illness, sexual abuse, all the things that go along in a child's life. And I really don't think we always know what goes on behind a closed door. And we need to open the doors and open those channels and um, get rid of the vicious circle, right? So that we can help people and that will help the future of my children and my grandchildren and myself. I wanna say thank you to everyone that's already donated to me. It has been an overwhelming response. Um, but anybody else that still wants to, to support me, they can go to my Facebook page. They can also go to the Central Alberta Sexual Assault Support Center page and they will find me there as well or the Celebrity Dance Off page. Um, please do. Um, it is for a great cause and you know what whether it's one dollar or a thousand dollars or even more every penny counts Now for the next story, we're going to head up north to Lacombe where Mrs. McIntosh's kindergarten class decided to help out the food bank and they delivered literally. A few years back I decided to do uh, kindness caves with my children so we go out on kindness missions about once a month in our community and we just try and find ways to give back to the community. Sometimes it's uh, not as Big as today, what today was, it could be a random act of kindness, leaving notes in random places or hanging candy canes on cars. But... We went on a kindness walk and we went to the food bank that they give money and food. We talk about how um, generally at Father Lacombe we're very lucky that we have our lunch kits and it's full of great food and um, there are kids in our community that don't have that. So we, we try and talk as much as we can about kids that don't have uh, food in their houses so the kids can relate a little more. We read stories about giving back, we read stories about food banks, we watch videos about it. We spent the whole month really talking about what is a food bank and why is it important. So, so they'll be happy, and, and if I show them my smile, they'll be happy too. What we did today is we've spent the month focusing on giving back to the Lacombe Food Bank. So we spent the month collecting food from all of the classes here at Father Lacombe. And um, we also raised the money through Cilantro and Chive through a burger project that we did with them. It was a beef patty with uh, crunchy peanut butter, blueberries, uh, pepper bacon, 
and lettuce, tomato, onion with a gummy egg on top because so many kids wanted a fried egg on the burger. I contributed, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say six. I mean, some were halves, some were like just a bite here or there, but uh, when you have a burger named after your class, a lot of people like to bring them to you, so uh, you have to eat them. Guys, how much is in there? Even better. <laughs> okay, ready? Are you gonna cheer? Do you wanna do a drum roll with your feet? I did not expect this much. Are you ready? $476! We had challenged the classes to bring as much as they could and they just totally jumped on board. We're really lucky at our school that when we throw a project like this out, the whole school just gets on board with it. So uh, yeah, that was 646 pounds of food, which is a lot. And we are just so proud that that's gonna go to families here in Lacombe. I'm super proud of them. <laughs> every month I challenge them to be kind, and every month I hand them these capes, and they never look at me and think I'm crazy. <laughs> they never say no. They just see the capes hanging there, and they are so excited to put them on, and they just, what are we doing? How are we gonna give back? How, who are we going to see? They're where I get my best ideas from for these kindest things, and the, I, proud, I can't even, I can't. I can't, it's more than pride, it's more. And I know that these kids, um, when they become adults, and I'm an old lady in this community, they're gonna be taking good care of me because they are connected to this community and they know the importance of being kind to everyone in it. Between the money raised by the hamburger sales and the food collected, the food bank shelves should be well stocked, but they could always use some more. Next up, Red Deer County continues to produce videos to share with the public, and this one shows how the Technical Rescue Task Force learned some new training dealing with grain rescues. So uh, Red Deer County Technical Rescue Task Force this evening are conducting our first ever initial training on a grain rescue simulation unit that uh, we uh, gratefully have on loan through uh, our neighbors to the south in Iowa. Uh, first time it's come into Canada. The uh, purpose of the grain simulation training unit is to train our members plus uh, all other emergency first responders in the central Alberta area uh, to be effective in uh, handling grain incident response. Uh, there is no current capability to conduct those types of incident response, so uh, Red Deer County is being proactive in establishing the training and pretty soon we'll have uh, an apparatus and equipment to, uh, to do effective grain rescue incident response. Uh, leading our training tonight is Dave Brand. He is our structural engineer on the team. He has been trained previously on uh, grain incident and emergency response, so he's ideal to lead this training for our members in preparation for some successful demonstrations of the grain apparatus uh, and a successful demonstration in Edmonton at the Farm Tech Conference. Red Deer County Council has been very proactive in donating $30,000 over a three-year period to the Canadian Agricultural Safety Association for the implementation of a grain training apparatus uh, similar to the one you see here tonight. And once the simulator is in place, uh, it's Red Deer County's intention to train all Central Alberta emergency responders in all aspects of grain entrapment incident uh, response. Our last video comes from David Dimon. This time he pieced together the story where the Central Alberta Sexual Assault Support Centre marked International Women's Day here at Parkland Mall. We're at the Parkland Mall, and this is for International Women's Day. It is for a reflection. Um, it's not a celebration. The shoes are a symbol of missing and murdered women, and on each of the shoes is a little information pamphlet on who they were, or the circumstances around their, their disappearance or their murder. 
as well as we do have a few of children as well. Hi, I'm Cherry from Seroptimus International and Purple Light Nights and our organization advocates on behalf of victims of family violence. This display here has a lot of women being represented, a lot of women and children, over 300 of them, but one really hits really close to home for all us people from Red Deer, the story of a woman, her child, and her ex-husband who suffered greatly from family violence. And she's being honored here today as well with a pair of shoes and her story. And we just invite everybody down to come and see and honor these women and these missing kids. All the shoes were um, brought in by just people in our community to try to help us so that we could make this. Um, but it's also a reflection of all of the different individual women that are part of this. The Central Alberta Sexual Assault Centre is the, are the ones hosting it. Um, behind me though you can see that we have a variety of other community agencies that are supporting us as well and supporting this. You can have everybody come down to the Parkland Mall and join us in a reflection for International Women's Day. Well, that does it for this edition of Community Producers. Now, if you want to be a part of the show as a reporter, editor, videographer, or to send us some video you've produced, then get in touch with us using the contact information on your screen. I've been your host, Rena Pelche. Thanks for watching.